CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz, how do you manage zonular dialysis? So you notice this capsule back equator when you're doing your rexes. Let me show you the case here. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. Surgeon makes a paracentesis, puts in some anesthetic agent, maybe some dilating agents as well, midriatic agents. There you go. And as the pupil expands, whoa, there you see the lens equator. Careful with the tripan blue dot. You can go back in the vitreous cavity. You can be very careful with that because you have a huge area of zonal dialysis. Another paracentesis, good option here. Always have good have option. They're starting the rexus here with the cystome. Now, you got to keep in mind, where's the center of the nucleus or the lens because it's shifted, right? So this looks like an off-centered rexus, but it actually is probably going to end up being pretty good. So completing the rexus here with just the cystotome, again, keep in mind, where's the center of the lens and not just the center of the pupil because the nucleus itself, the whole cataract itself has shifted. And so that's okay with the rexus. Got that done. Let's finish it up. And now, what are your options here? You need to have some sort of support. So now, placing a couple of pairs and these, probably some capture support hooks coming up. So here we go. So capture support hooks are very helpful. You see their shape. It's different than an iris hook. And it can go pretty far back there. And that's, that uh, shape of it allows you to get more support. So I like the placement of those. That's a good option. Making the main incision here. And then gentle hydrodissection. Not too dense of a cataract, which is a good sign. And get that fluid way of getting across there. Be very careful, though, because those two hooks can become dislodged from the rex's edge. In fact, then you may have already seen that right now. So now getting the chop propagated. Yeah, see, you got to readjust those hooks. So at this point, the surgeon takes them out. Hooks have been removed from the eye, and now a CTR is going in. So CTR being placed manually, just dialing that in. And then now, okay, looks like CTR is in the capsule bag. And now a little rotation of the nucleus. And now the chopping can continue. Now, the question is, is there enough support? How much support can a capsular tension ring give you? Probably not six or eight clock hours, right? But probably two for sure, maybe three clock hours, maybe if you're lucky, four clock hours. And that also depends how you place your IOL, right? We talked about this before in yesterday's video. If you place a CTR on the bag and then you place a three-piece lens with the haptics and the sulcus and opta captured, that can actually give you a lot more stability for the long term. So here the surgeon's being very gentle about removing the second piece, getting it rotated around. Nice chop technique, very good. And taking these pieces down nice and easy, aspirating those. And then and once those are done, now the key here, the tough part is going to be what? Cortex removal. Because cortex, you're pulling on the capsule bag. You're having that cortex that's adhering to the capsule bag. Plus, you've got a CTR and kind of holding some of that cortex at the capsule bag equator. So you've got to be very cautious with the, the cortex removal during irrigation aspiration. Here, a bimanual approach may be very helpful. So now the surgeon's going in. A little more viscoelastic, always a good option. Remember, with zonular dialysis, you're going to have a lot more laxity and looseness in that capsule bag, and you may get that posterior capsule coming towards you a little bit, even with a CTR in the eye. Less likely, but still possible. So taking these pieces down nice and easy, this is the time where you want to just, like, slow it down. Slow it down with the last pieces, you know, coming up, just so you don't get any surge. Now, here we go, the bimanual cortex removal with the IA setup. That looks good. Again, just taking your time here and notice the circumferential moves. Those are probably the better option here. If you just pull straight radial, you're pulling against the CTR. It's a lot tougher. So you want to do it circumferential or tangential. There we go. And this is not going to be easy. It's going to take some time. But, you know, persistence will pay off and you'll get it done. And watch carefully as you do this. Make sure the rexus isn't moving a lot. If you're pulling on the cortex and you start seeing that CTR, well, hello, that's causing more zonular dialysis and more issues here. Now, finally, cleaning up the last bit of the cortex looks pretty good. Let's see what the lens option is going to be. Okay, single piece of acrylic lens looks like going in the bag. And with the hapix oriented towards that area of zonular uh, dialysis, this should be reasonably stable. And let's see at the end of the case how the lens looks. And that's a little bit of shift. So we'll see how this ends up. Looks okay for now. May need some more suture fixation in the long term. Only time will tell. Great video. Thank you for sharing it. And thank you for watching. And remember, check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. So much free stuff, free PDF book, free curriculum series. There's a new video sent to you by email every day. And of course, follow us on social media. And most of all, you got to check out our podcast. Number one podcast in all of ophthalmology.